Yeah. Okay, I'm with Steve Williams, coach. To, uh, coach. <laughs> Sorry, I'll start again. I'm with. St <laughs> that's a great start. I'm with Steve Williams, caddy to Tiger Woods. Uh, Steve, just a couple of questions, really. What do you think, in your opinion, makes a great caddy? Oh, I think somebody that's very confident in their ability and what they're doing. Uh, and you've always got to be able to speak your mind and whatever thoughts come into your head. If you've given enough thought over the particular thoughts that come in, you know, you've got to give those thoughts to your players. So just basically confidence in what you're doing. Yeah. And uh, Lynette and I spoke on the way down. You've obviously caddied for Ray Floyd, Greg Norman and uh, lots of other good players. What do you feel your, your role has been or, or what sort of role do you feel you've played in their success? Oh, I think for me, you know, the, the psychology side of it has been the most important thing. Has been able to, you got to be able to determine when to say something, when not to say something, um, and, and that's a very big part of it. Is to know when to say something, not to say something, and to be able to read players' minds. That's something I've worked very hard at, and it's um, been a key to my success. And and there must be times on the golf course, obviously, you know, good times, bad times. Do you, uh, do you quieten down on the bad times or do you, do you sort of try and give some confidence? No, do you, do you talk when, to your player? When, when things aren't going exactly the plan, uh, that's when a caddy is worth, is worth, worth <laughs> what am I trying to say, worth their weight in gold is yeah. when they're going, um, <laughs> when players are playing poorly, that's when you really got to step in and try and find a way to turn the day around. Um, so, you know, when players are playing good, that's probably the easiest part of your job. So, yeah. um, when they're not playing as well, you've got to find a way, you've got to be able to know what to say, how to say it to sort of turn things around. And the last question, really, you've had lots and lots of great moments on the golf course. What is your greatest moment on the golf course with Tiger? What do you look back on or what will you look back on and think, well, that was a fantastic pivotal? Well, undoubtedly, you know, when Tiger won the Masters in 2002 to make it four in a row to hold the four major championships uh, was undoubtedly because the PGA Championship finished in August and then the Masters starts in April. That was the, long, the longest break you could have between major championships. So for Tiger to, to be under the, the pressure that he was, to be asked as many times about the opportunity of winning the Grand Slam, uh, to actually turn around and do it uh, was undoubtedly the best moment. Finally, Lynn Brookie said you used to fish balls out of the pond at Waikini. Did she ever pay you for the balls you gave her, or did, does she owe you some money still? <laughs> no, she's square with me. <laughs> she's square with you. Steve Williams, thank you very much for talking to us. You got it.